around today with your pre class 94. We're working on hydro connections for water supply. There's changes in our department that we all have to get used to as we move toward our Pierce apparatus. Our QMATs are now going to be in these compartments and no longer pre -club. So, our old saying from recruit school really comes back into play. We need to remember hose, handle, QMAT. Still be wrapping the hydrant like before, but we can set the new mat off to the side now while we do our wrap. What we should be cautious of is connecting our 5 inch to the wrong outlet of our shoe mat. As always, we want to take the time to flush our hydrant. We all know how much sediment and debris can be inside one of our hydrants. We want to make sure we keep that out of our pump. Flushing the hydrant is still very important. have a new water supply SOP and training manual for the Fort Worth Fire Department. In that training manual for water supply and in that SOP, we are stipulating that on all forward lays, we will be using the humat and a gate valve on all forward lay hydrant connections. On the majority of our residential fires, a residential humat connection and hydro connection is a sufficient amount of water. However, we are having incidents that go beyond residential fire flows and we need the ability to come in and set up a volume connection to both increase pressure and volume to the fire seat. The only way to do that is to have the humat and the gate valve on the hydrant on the get-go. As always, we need to make sure that as we open our hydrant, we open it slowly and we open it all the way. We've also had incidents where we've had low flow at the fire scene, only, only to find out that the firefighter at the hydrant did not open the hydrant all the way. We do still get a lot of questions about why we still need the humat now that we've converted over to five inch. Uh, all that goes back to is understanding our hydraulics. Five inch doesn't solve all of our water problems. When we're flowing water through five inch, or any hose for that matter, our gallons per minute are really the multiplying force. So we need to remember that as our GPMs double, our friction loss quadruples. So on residential fire flows, if we're only flowing 500 gallons a minute through our 5 inch, our friction loss per section is only 2. But when our gallons per minute go up to 1,000, our friction loss jumps up to 8 per section. And if we're flowing one of our platforms that is a 2,000 GPM waterway, our friction loss can be as high as 32 PSI per section. We've all done enough hydrant testing to know that hydrants in Fort Worth do not have enough pressure behind it to support that operation. So having the humat and the gate valve in to allow us to come in and augment that hydrant volume connection 